Hello, dear students, and welcome to Inastava. This is English language lesson for the second grade of secondary school. The topic today is hashtag together in travel. My name is Rehana and I will be your teacher for the day. As always, you need a pen and a notebook, a device with internet connection and a QR code scanner. We'll start today's lesson by trying to recall some of the benefits of traveling we have mentioned so far. Here are some ideas. Traveling is about learning, learning languages, learning about different cultures, and also learning about yourselves. It's about relaxing, about exploring, it's about meeting new people. Traveling is also an adventure. And it's a challenge. And while traveling, you create new memories. However, there are some arguments against traveling. Can you recall any of them? What have we said? Why shouldn't people travel? There is the lack of money and the lack of time. Some people also don't have friends who would like to travel with them and they don't feel confident traveling alone. There are also safety concerns and language barriers. But the positive thing is that by traveling, most of these things can be changed. For example, you can make it your job. We have mentioned some professions which include traveling as a part of their daily activities. And then you also eliminate the time problem or the money problem. While traveling, you also improve your language skills. And you can learn a lot about how to stay safe and protect yourselves. The most important thing before you set off for a holiday is to be prepared. How do you prepare for a holiday or for a trip? First, you need to decide what kind of holiday it is. It could be an adventure holiday or a mini break lasting just a few days. Is it backpacking holiday? Or do you want to take a whole gap year? Then you need to decide what you want to do while on holiday. Do you want to go sightseeing? Is it a relaxing type of holiday? Do you want to do some water sports or different activities in nature? Then you decide where you want to stay while you're on holiday. Do you want to go camping or you want to rent an apartment, for example? You can also stay at a bed and breakfast or a host hostel or a hotel. Here is a short game for you. You need to match the images on the left with the words on the right. The link is bit.ly holidays revision and there is also a QR code you can scan. Please pause the video now and do this exercise. Now let's continue with our preparation. The next thing you need to do is to define your budget. So how much money you have at your disposal. Then you need to decide how much you want to spend on accommodation, for transport, on food and different activities. Then you need to choose your destination, where you want to go. And then you do some research. You can find information on official tourist board websites in travel videos, on travel blogs, or in different brochures. 
After that, you need to make reservations for transport, so how to get from your place to your destination, for accommodation, and for different attractions. You can book them in advance. Then you plan your itinerary. So when do you want to do different things, activities? What do you want to see? And what do you want to do while on holiday? Then you pack your suitcase. You can pack light. It means you don't take many things. Or you can overpack. It means you bring too many things with you. Over the last few lessons, we talked about when to use article the with geographical names. Do you remember? There are rivers like the Thames, oceans like the Atlantic Ocean, seas like the Black Sea, mountain ranges like the Alps, groups of islands like the Caribbean, and countries ending in letter S or countries that have states, kingdom or republic in their name. So here are some examples, the Netherlands, the United States, the United Kingdom or the Czech Republic. I'd like you to pause this lesson again to play the game. You need to decide when you use this article the in front of geographical names. The link for the game is bit.ly, the geography, and there is also the code you can scan. If I won the lottery, I would travel to Bali. This sentence is an example of an unlikely situation in the future, something we wish would happen. To express such situations, we use second conditional. To practice it some more, there is a link, bit.ly to see game, and also a QR code you can scan. And then there is this quiz you can use to practice this structure. You can pause this lesson now and do this quiz. And now I'd like you to apply everything we've learned so far. You can pause this lesson now and write 100 to 150 words about preparing for your ideal gap year. So imagine you have a possibility to take a year off to travel. Decide on what steps you need to take before you set off. What would you do first? You need to apply the vocabulary you use when you are preparing for a trip and also second conditional since it's an unlikely situation. Also pay attention to the articles you use with the geographical names where necessary for all the places you'd like to visit. This period of pandemic is especially difficult for people who like traveling a lot. We mentioned globetrotters, people who travel often to different countries. The option to travel now is traveling from home. Some options for online traveling while you need to stay at home are visiting different websites, museums, reading travel blogs or watching travel videos. You can also use Google Art, National Geographic or AirPano website. There is also a website, australia.com 8D Escapes, with videos as a part of Tourism Australia program, and they use 8D audio technology. They immerse viewers in the unique sights, sounds, and textures of iconic destinations across Australia, and you can enjoy all of that from the comfort of your home. On this note, I'd like you to watch a video as a part of hashtag Together in Travel campaign. 
This campaign was launched in April 2020 by the World Travel and Tourism Council in partnership with Hills Balfour. It focuses on what travel means to people and how people can still continue being connected in travel, even if they need to stay at home. Here are some words you'll see and hear in this video, hashtag together in travel. We'll go through their meanings because they might be new to you. And there are only four. The first one is wanderlust. It's a strong desire people have to travel. Then there is a verb to thrive. It means to grow or to develop well. An adjective paramount means extremely important, very important. And then there is bucket list. It's a list of things you want to do before you die. While you watch the video for the first time, I'd like you to find the answer to the following question. Why should we travel and what does travel give us? I'd like you to pay special attention to the part of the video around the 28th second. The video has subtitles and it makes it a bit easier for you to understand it. So let's watch together. What is travel? Travel is a community. It is a collection of unparalleled experiences. It is everything from breathtaking natural wonders to sensory discovery, cultural exploration to incredible encounters with incredible people. Travel connects us. It challenges us. It is total relaxation to pure adrenaline. It is shared time to solo adventure. Travel gives us lifelong memories and the most amazing stories to tell. We cannot travel right now. Our health and safety is paramount. But even when we have to stay apart, travel can still bring us closer. So, from homes all around the world, let's keep the spark alive together. Join us as we gather together in travel and celebrate what travel means to each of us. Share your stories your most prized memories, or greatest adventures, your favorite images, videos, or the songs you've heard. Inspire and help others. Fuel their bucket lists and let them grow yours. Make us laugh or cry. Make our jaws drop or eyes widen. Let us support one another in this time. Keep the flame of travel burning and wanderlust alive. Because travel is a community. And that is how communities thrive. I hope you enjoyed the video. And here is the answer to the question, why should we travel? And the answer is given in the video. They say we should travel because it gives us lifelong memories and the most amazing stories to tell. Now we'll watch the same video again. This time you should focus on the following questions and make notes. The first one is, what is travel? While watching, try to list everything that is said about travel, everything travel is. Don't write complete sentences, just quick notes. The next question is, what could we do in this situation when travel is not possible or it's very difficult to travel? You also need to catch the main idea of the campaign and the explanation why this campaign has been launched in the first place and why it is so important. Prepare your notebook and pen for making notes and let's watch it again. What is travel? Travel is a community. It is a collection of unparalleled experiences. It is everything from breathtaking natural wonders to sensory discovery 
cultural exploration to incredible encounters with incredible people. Travel connects us. It challenges us. It is total relaxation to pure adrenaline. It is shared time to solo adventure. Travel gives us lifelong memories and the most amazing stories to tell. We cannot travel right now. Our health and safety is paramount. But even when we have to stay apart, travel can still bring us closer. So, from homes all around the world, let's keep the spark alive together. Join us as we gather together in travel and celebrate what travel means to each of us. Share your stories, your most prized memories, or greatest adventures. Your favorite images, videos, or the songs you've heard. Inspire and help others. Fuel their bucket lists and let them grow yours. Make us laugh or cry. Make our jaws drop or eyes widen. Let us support one another in this time. Keep the flame of travel burning and wanderlust alive. Because travel is a community. And that is how communities thrive. I hope you've managed to make a list of words and phrases describing what travel is. So here's what I've got. Travel is a community, a collection of experiences. It is experiencing natural wonders, sensory discovery, cultural exploration, encounters with new people. Travel connects us. It challenges us. It is relaxation and adrenaline. It is shared time and solo adventure. And what could we do in this situation? We can share our stories, memories, adventures, images, videos, or songs using hashtag together in travel. What is the idea behind this campaign? It is to share our travel memories to the world using hashtag together in travel and to fill social media with it. And why should we do it? to inspire and to be inspired, to keep the flame of travel burning, to grow our bucket list and help others grow theirs. So I'd like you to try it. Let's all be a part of this campaign until we can travel again without any restrictions. I'd like you to choose your favorite photo or a video from a trip you've taken and post it on a social network with the hashtag together in travel. Share your memories and see what other people share. It can motivate others to visit new destinations, but it can also motivate you. You can expand your bucket list and discover new places you didn't even know existed. And that is something we could really use in this time of limited mobility. And here is a checklist for you. I'd like you to go through these statements and tick the ones you have successfully completed or the ones you believe you can do. Have you written a plan about how to prepare for your ideal gap year with all the necessary steps? Have you played all the games and quizzes? Can you find information about traveling online? Can you find ways to travel from home? And have you posted one photo or video with the hashtag together in travel? We'll finish today's lesson with words from the video that best describe our thoughts and feelings about traveling in the situation we are all in at the moment. It says, stay safe, stay inspired, and tell us your most amazing travel stories. Let's keep the spark of travel alive together. We are proud to be hashtag together in travel. Until next time, stay safe.